Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and I've put together a team that is ready to venture out against the Brigand 12, oh no, 16 pounder this time around. We are ready to go. We're bringing out Kuro here mainly for a few reasons. One, Mark is one of the only things that actually affects the boss and Mark with a plus 10 crits received sounds like a really, really, really good benefit. Um, as well as having Incarcerate here, to be able to pull the, um, oh, sorry, not incarcerate. That's the wrong one. Uh, we want, I think it's, we want chain gang. Is it chain gang? No, 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 it's not chain gang. One moment. Uh, it, no, no, it might be incarcerate. I might just need to swap these two around. One second. I think it's just that I need to swap these two around. Let me just make sure that you're at peak effectiveness here as well. So, yeah, you've got back to the shadows just in case. Because I've kind of everyone can kind of flex their positions here. Uh, so I just want to make sure that everyone's in the right places. Let me just quickly change this around. One second. I think it's this one we want to go with lunge and make sure we've got that going on. So you can do pick to the face from position one, which is going to be her main attack. As well as... Um, what's the other one she wants? I think it's uh, we want to use the toxic trickery. And just use that and then we use lunge and shadow fade if we need to but mainly pick to the face is going to be her main skill because of that armor piercing she's got the extra accuracy and crit along with that crit bonus which is going to pair nicely with this mark bonus but yeah we've got incarcerate here mainly to pull the uh the matchstick dude the, the 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 match lighter and then hook and slice for a shuffle in case we need that as well so he's going to be really really useful from that position there and like i said that extra mark damage is going to be awesome but bring out nina our grave robber as well Nina's gonna get you. And like I said, mainly for the armor piercing. Got that extra prop, um, extra accuracy and crit with that nice bonus to crit. Lunge and um lunge and shadow fade aren't gonna be used too much, but I will get them in there when we can. Uh let's quickly just go and check to make sure I've skilled up that one, you know, because I don't think I have. Um Yeah, lunge, there you go. Right, make sure that's done. Uh, and yeah, so th this is going to be a good a good little team here. I think Nina, like, just, just for the picks of the face, is going to be super useful. Uh, Kira, going to be really good. Then we're bringing Katrina Duran, who we have kind of brought out a lot recently, but it's because she's super damn effective. Um, we got the Husband's Heart for that proc, so that low HP. And then we're also going with the Wounded Dolly, which brings up that pro uh, that, that debuff to the debuff resist. So it brings it to just minus 20 cent ra rather than minus 50. It does reduce our healing a little bit, but the bigger thing is on attack hit debuff target plus six crits received. Mixed with this here, the Sundering Flesh, breaking guard and lowering prot. We're going to be lowering prot and increasing crits received across the board, which I think is going to be really, really good. Um, and then, of course, Annie here coming out as our key healer. I think she'll do just fine here. Um, just going with the full-on healing build. Um, the one thing I do want to quickly check is our uh, camping skills real quick. Let's just go and uh, go and see what people have available, if there's anything else we might want. I think you're fine. Um, yeah, you're, you're fine. Nina, is there anything you might want? I think you're fine as well. Trina's got pretty much everything she needs as well. Cost 666. Oh my god. Skill of use pull upon nightmare update. Looking forward to that. Um, honestly, I think we're fine as we are, really. I think we're fine as we are. I might unlock that one there and uh, slap that on instead of... Um... Oh wait, I think it's just unlocked it and put it on. Yeah, it has. Cool. I think we're good to go. I think we're ready. Uh, this is a, a ragtag team. But it's people, it's some people like Nina, Annie and Kira that we haven't brought out in a little while. I feel like they need some extra... Extra outings, um, go with the provisions. I think we should be good to go here. We're going to buy everything up because it's a harder mission. And we embark onto our next adventure. To end the tiresome domestic distraction, I instructed my newly formed militia of hardened bandits, brigands, and killers to go forth and do their work. Compliance and order were restored and the noisome population of the hamlet was culled to more manageable numbers. My god. We do have one diary entry here yet, uh, yet again from Ah Yes, this guy again, um, for Will June after the last episode. After that pile of flesh finally stopped twitching, we were hurt, bleeding, and I started to think we might have gone to the wrong mission. 
I healed everyone the best that I could. That's what uh, when a gigantic pig centaur showed up. None of us had the energy to stop him, and I braced for the fierce impact. That never came. The beast lay dead on the floor with his head missing and an incredible amount of blood shot out of the remaining stump. As that happened, we saw the little pig that had appeared in the bar holding an axe and the head of the pig tar. He spoke in broken English and told us that we probably wouldn't uh, have to worry too much about the monsters from this place. As he snapped his fingers and armies of hundreds of pigmen showed up, he started speaking again. The reason why I picked your side is to stop the killing from both sides. I grew up watching your people kill my kin. My people kill yours. And first, I was like everyone else and hated your people. I cursed them openly because I couldn't bear to watch. However, I then understood that this was never going to stop if I didn't stop it. I tried joining, um, I tried joining your ranks to try and make peace but I was too weak. So instead I decided to make my own army to try and uh, stop some of these people from harming you. However, the system is not perfect. If you wander here again, you'll probably find some aggressive beasts, but at least we'll stop something big. Anyways, boys, escort them out. As he said this, some of the larger pigmen helped us out of this place. I was honestly bewildered as something like this could come from such a creature. Huh. <sighs> well, I guess I need to do more research. That was awesome. So I, I'm loving this little backstory that you've created with the, the, the little Wilbur pigman that came to town, even though he's not even part of our ranks. He never joined us because he was only a level one. I still absolutely love this amazing story that you've crafted out of this. Really excited for that. Loving to see where that goes. And so far, really enjoying it. Let's jump on in and see what we can get done here. And gunpowder hangs in the air. Indeed it does. The war machine is close. By the way, do remember uh, that I, I, you know what, I'm not going to bother, I want, I want my bandages. Apparently, there is a small chance that um, the, the Brigade 8 Pounder can go off without uh, without being lit. It's only a small chance, but it can happen. Let's just hope it doesn't happen to us. Apparently, as you get higher in the levels, it happens more and more. So this attack here is so good for us, because just massive debuffs across the board. Also, we have a mod that makes uh, exoplasms a little more aggressive, a little... It changes how they work a bit to make them a bit more interesting to fight. Of course, doing that, we got the um, the last light on there as well, why wouldn't we? Um, incarcerate. Not a very high chance to stun you. I think we just go for the kill on this guy. See what we can get. Sadly, no crits as of yet. The rabid rush coming in. No rabies, please. Um, this is exactly why I saved my bandages. Finish you off. Nice one. Keep bump pumping up that prop. We really, we're really going to need all the prop we can get against the, uh, the, the 16 pounder. Um, hook and slice. We'll go for that. Ah, no bleed, unfortunately, but this should kill it. And we got a crit there as well. And that just gives it even more crits received. It doesn't have any prop left, so that's really good too. It only had about 30%, so... Now we can do this. Ah, oh, that's a really high crit chance skill. So you're really hurt for once you've got a few of those going to get a massive crit. Basically, it's all about it's, it's all about giving as much crit as we can, as much crit chance, um, and debuffing the enemy to receive crits to get Nina to just strike while the iron's hot with pick to the face. That's kind of what it all builds up to. And as you can see crits across the board really um and it's it's a very very strong way of playing to just make it so you're dealing immense amount of crits while also lowering the enemy's pro which is crazy like if, if we kind of look at it from the outside we're buffing our entire team's pro while giving them heals and lowering the entire enemy's pro while making them um more able to be crit which is just like the two best things you could possibly do for your team Okay, we got one of the new enemies, the infected cicada. Uh, I don't, I don't, don't remember exactly how these work. Uh, this guy has prot. Let's pick to the face on this guy. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep building up that prot. The cicada could be problematic, so I want to try and take it out quick. Unfortunately, it did dodge. Only has low HP. Uh, I think one of them did manage to dodge. Oh no, we got all of them. Good, good. Lowering this guy's prot and giving pick to the face is going to be super important. Did get a bit of blight on us there and a bit of doomsday coming in. The stress shouldn't be too problematic. Uh, we've, we've kind of already seen that last light is a very effective stress healer because 
Healing across the board guarantees some crits here and there, and those crits here and there are going to be fantastic. And this guy's giving everyone prot, which is normally quite bad, but for us, not as big of a problem. Not as big of a problem. Just don't give us rabies, please. Cool, so we keep on going with you. Yeah, that's exactly why. Look at that. Being able to armor pierce and crit at the same time is incredible. Unfortunate dodges there, but at least we debuff debuffed the prot on this dude. Uh, quickly get rid of that. And I'm just going to incarcerate you. Make sure that you can't stress us out anymore. Compassion is a but yeah, it's just crits across the board and everyone's getting reasonably decent stress heals. The spores are coming in and that's a crit as well. So that's going to be a high blight. Indeed it is. High blight, high stress with the mark as well. Nice dodge there. Nina coming in next time. Finish you off. Good. The main damage dealer of this group. Rabid Rush. Nice dodge, Katrina. Very well done. Um, this time, we're going to go with that on you. Sadly, still no crit on that, but we'll get the crits received anyways. Another dodge there. Okay, so this is one of the things with the Cicadas that I forgot about. I'm going to try and take this guy out. Yeah, um, they, they bring in, they bring in reinforcements if you leave them too long. They've got quite a lot of dodge, and we don't have any way of lowering that, I don't think. So that's going to be kind of problematic. Uh, we're just going to have to hope. I think Nina's going to be the one to hit them, really, because she has that extra bonus to accuracy. It's okay. We brought some Loudenum with us. So I'm going to just take this guy out first, though. I think he's more important to get rid of, even though these guys have low health and everything. Getting rid of the stress dealer as soon as possible is really, really good for us. Um, damn it. Unfortunate dodge there. I thought maybe instead of healing, we'd go for that, considering health is looking fine right now. But this is why we brought all of these all of these bits with us. There's one dead with the crit. This guy could bring in another reinforcement, so we do have to be wary of that. Yeah, I think he's doing it now, isn't he? Oh, no, no. That's just the prop. Prot doesn't matter to us. We can cut right through that. And we can even do that, just lower it. I love the uh, the visuals of Katrina's attacks. They're so good. Party heal there. Thank you, Annie. Spores coming in once again. My god, Katrina. Can you stop getting blighted, please? It's getting tiresome. We'll leave that blight on her. I don't really care about it this time. We can heal up after. Right, let's keep pushing forward until the tasks end, I say. Also, I've not had a good chance to look through it fully yet. Don't know why I did that, but... Uh, I've not had a good chance to fully look through it yet. Do you know what? Let's give you a bit of food. Um, but there was a, a big uh, magazine release going into detail about Darkest Dungeon 2. I'm really excited to read through that. I'm going to read through it after this. Um, but I've seen a few images from it, and it looks pretty interesting. Oh, completely not paying attention there. Um... Right. As the Go light straight in. Purchase, spirits are lifted. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Purpose made clear. Yeah, getting that food back is super important for us. I'm very happy about that. Gonna say, that's that's the exact reason right the there. God damn, we have a lot of these about at the minute. I'm sure we'll come across some Crimson Core enemies. Oh, okay, we've come across this. If you guys remember this from last time, this is because of, um, I can't remember who it is exactly now. I think it's Katrina, yeah. Uh, marked by the flock. We've got to make sure to leave her. She is going to stress us out, but just don't hit her. And we shall be good. Try and take this guy out. Sadly, it means that we can't do the debuffs we normally would, but I think that's mostly okay. Yep, hostage situation is going to end up guarding there. What sort of damage can we do to you? I'm going to try... Oh, I was going to say I, I wanted to try that just because the quicker we get these kills, the better. Even though our healing... The more, more so the prot is very necessary. Now I really wish I'd have just healed up. <laughs> Look at the stress on this guy. My god. Vile vomit. Lots of lots of blight across the board in our team here, but lucky resist there. That, that was disease resist more than anything, though. But yeah, we're going to get stress here. And it might even mean that Cura has to... Uh, has to... Get some stress healing while he can. We do have a Breaks Guard as well on one of our skills. Uh, get you. Pulls you forward and bleeds you. Uh, you're going to die to the bleed anyways. What do we have that Breaks Guard? I'm going to do this... 
I know that it's obviously going to stress us out, but it breaks the guard and allows us to actually kill this guy. Can I get a, a turn to heal, please? I feel like I've not healed in forever. There you go. There you go. We need one more of those coming in there. There we go. We got it. The gratitude coming in. That's exactly what we needed. That, it cannot be understated how timely that was. Getting rid of all of that uh, stress there. I know that obviously a lot of the stress just came from the fight itself, but even still, really, really good stuff. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require all Oh my god, so many traps, and you keep walking into them, Annie. Why? Watch your feet footing, please. Okay, we got actually more of the um, of the Talon guys, which is kind of crazy. Um, these guys do have procs, so it's worth attacking them. And getting a crit, like, that's fantastic. We might even be able to finish this guy off from turn one. Rip the flesh, it's going to hurt, yep. Why Why is everyone so interested in, in uh, Katrina? I really don't understand. She's not marked or anything, so I really don't get it. It's very odd. But literally, like, so many of the attacks have been focused directly on her. Compassion is a rarity in the fever okay, good. Let's take you out and make sure you're dead first. I'm a bit scared about what, yeah, I gotta say, what this um, bear will do up front. Luckily, Ruffle doesn't do anything to us because we have high move resist. Get another one of them going. It does pretty decent damage, to be honest, as well, like... It cannot be understated how useful the damage that it deals is. Sadly, Volley's going to hurt us across the board. Extra stress until camp as well. We're going to be camping very shortly, so I don't mind that, to be honest. Um, Yeah, finish you off. Really? Oh, unfortunate dodge there. God damn. Unfortunate dodge indeed. There's some more bleed coming out. You can die. Another volley coming in. We are getting hit by this hard right now. I mean, luckily we're resisting all of it. And we're healing through everything. And even healing our stress up quite nicely too. Um, let's quickly do that. Finally finish you off. And then uh, you can finish this guy with a crit. There you go. More Talon Feathers. Awesome. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. They can be felled. They can be beaten. We push on. Shovel our way through this. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Nice. A few more torches is always good, just in case. Yet another bit of food, but we've been picking up food along the way here, so our, our food resources are actually pretty good. Right, this is the boss here, obviously. Um, so let's let's camp it up. We can do full eating. Uh, and we want to go for team buffs. So, removing disease. We do have a disease here, but we don't have any other diseases. So, I don't think it matters. Yeah, because that's, that's not a disease that should affect us too badly. Um, so... Extra accuracy. Okay, so for, we, we've unfortunately not got great team buffs here. Um... Yeah, we've really not got good across-the-board team buffs here at all. I think we just want to go for this and go for that on you. Um, I think we do that, and then we go like that. Then we go like that. And I guess we'll just remove your disease, because why the hell not? There you go. Unfortunately, not the uh, not the most useful camping session we've ever been on, but we're ready to go. Everyone's in their correct positions. Um, and yeah, we're going to push on to this fight. And essentially, like, the the play, the, the order of operations is just make sure the matchman is dead. Always. <laughs> make sure we get as many hits as we possibly can on that matchman. This guy here in position three. Engine of destruction. Um, because we can't hit you, I think we just go for the attack on the on the thingy itself. 
Right, we always go for that divine heal. He's probably going to get the light, the fuse, but as long as he doesn't get the boom, we should be fine. There you go, look. Easy kill on that guy straight away. And this guy, of course, getting that extra mark damage. Going to be really, really good. While the dude isn't out, if we can manage to do it, obviously, it's not that it's not that easy, but if we can manage it, we want to be um, getting off the debuff. There's another one, dead straight away. Getting off the debuff from um, Katrina to, to uh, remove that prot. It's only a small amount of prot, but it still matters. Um, I think we finished you off, yeah. And we're pretty much going to be spamming the party heal here so everyone gets that prot. We want to keep at least 20% on everyone. He's going to keep coming back, but that's kind of fine. I think we just keep attacking this, to be honest. Get its health down quickly. The other enemies are kind of just fodder. Sadly, not a kill this time, so it is going to get an additional turn. But we can incarcerate it to kill it. I think. I think we should be able to get that off before it fires. Or we can just hook and slice. That'll also kill. There you go. As you can see, he just keeps bringing it back. Yeah, I think this is what we want to do. Unfortunately, it, this is going to be a quite a long fight due to just how how this is all playing out. It's going to be quite a long fight. But I think for the most part, this should work out nicely. I actually think we're going to... We're going to... Um, Incarcerate you. Really? That's a really, really untimely miss there. There's another crit on you straight away. That's fantastic. This, that, that, I tell you what, Katrina might have been the best person we could have possibly brought for this. She is just absolutely killing it right now. But yeah, whatever we do, we do not want to give that, uh, that dude the chance to even try. And look at this. He just... Every single time he even tries, it's just like, no. I'm going to mark you. Just, oh, I was hoping for that debuff, but I don't think we can really land debuffs. Um, Yeah, I wanted to do that just so we can get that mark on and actually do some extra damage when, uh, when the guy isn't out. That's slightly annoying, but not too much so. In fact, actually, that's really annoying. Um, that's really, really annoying. I'm going to have to just move you forward. I, I need to. Because uh, Kuro can't hit the back line. And we need him to be able to finish this guy off. If Katrina doesn't crit 17,000 times in a row. But luckily, Katrina always crits. But that's what we're looking for. Absolutely huge damage. Absolutely huge damage. Yeah, we, we're getting it. We've got about, about a third of the health down. And so far, the only minor issues we've come across is that, that shuffle. Of course, there's going to be times where... Um, yeah, I'm going to try this again. There's going to be times where things don't quite work out the way we want them to. But this is why we do this. So that this, this kind of guarantees that, for one, you can do this. And then if that exact thing happens, if that exact thing happens, not only is he stunned, but he's pulled forward. And we can finish him with someone else. That is exactly why um, Kura is a great pick here. Brilliant to bring along. And now we can finally do this. Hope for the debuff, of course. Missed all the other enemies and didn't get the debuff. Big shame. Um, I'm going to remark you. I, don't, I, I literally don't think we can debuff him. It doesn't seem to work at all, which is... Eh, it's annoying, but... As long as we can keep marking him and get that big damage on him that way, I don't mind. Obviously, we're not going to get the crits on him like we were before. But the crits are mainly just to, to guarantee the kills on the fodder. About to break. Nice one. I think we're just going to do the same on you again. Make sure you get pulled forward. You didn't get stunned, but pulling you forward is enough to make this work. Because Katrina can still hit you easily. And even if that exact thing happens and we get the low damage. Do you know what? Ah! Do you know, every time I'm like, I'm not going to heal. I'm not going to heal because, yeah, look at this. Look at this. How did that happen? God damn it.
God damn it, how did that happen? Blanket fire, Katrina's on death's door. This is really bad now. I can't I can't believe you did that, Annie. I needed you to hit there. I needed you to hit. I needed you to stun as well. But god damn, you didn't want to, did you? Of course, a bleed is terrible for us. God damn it, Annie. You could have you could have done something great there. But instead you were a shit. We should be okay here. Just just keep it together. Just keep it together. Keep playing the game. Blanket fire is kind of our biggest problem right now. While everyone's weak, blanket fire is going to hurt. I need you to, to start critting this guy again. Really, one damage. You couldn't have done one more. I mean, at least you stunned him. But really, one damage. You're going to screw me like this? We need to get the heals out a bit qu a bit quicker here. Okay. That's it. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. We need as much damage on that cannon as we can. We got it below half now. You need to stop critting too, dude. You need to stop critting. Blanket fire crittings that are sort of our biggest worry at this time. Mark that bad boy. Ah, I think I think it's the misfire that happened. We we, we really got to make sure we're all healed up because if we get a misfire, it'll put a few people on death's door. Right, Katrina, I need you to crit right now. I need you to crit. Grab that guy, please stun him. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if that messes up our order right now. Having you back there, is that a problem? It better not be. It's not. Okay. Oh, God damn it, Katrina. It's okay. Just don't miss. Thank you. Luckily, Nina has that accuracy up, so we shouldn't ever miss with her, really. Or at least it should be rare. Okay, nice. Everyone's kind of back to full health now. Keep going on this bad boy. Oh, you beast, Kira. You have been the the hidden star of the show today. You really have. An absolute shining star. Two more rounds and we can get you. You may think, let's just go for the kill here. I'm still gonna take out the match the match dude just in case, and it worked out fantastically. And there you go, we did it. Twisted metal and splintered wood. Wow, that was close. We got one big fire on us. Uh, we got the stone feather, which is interesting. And we got a blueprint, of course. Gimme, gimme. And yeah, we're good to go. That was uh, definitely a little bit shaky. Definitely a little bit shaky, but we managed it. I'm very happy. And I think, is that all bosses done now? It might well be. Everyone's up to level 6 as well, of course. You did get scurvy, unfortunately. But otherwise, pretty pretty good going there, guys. Pretty good going. I'm uh, very happy with how everyone's done. Purpose and peace. All can be found in the focused mind. Right. Yeah, let's quickly just check. Uh, we d we have corrupted all of us, yeah. Unstable flash, but that's level 3 one, so that doesn't matter. It's just a replayable boss. Kill the Shriekling's Nest. We still have this. Uh, defeat the boss to recover two of your lost trinkets. Um, but I think that is all bosses, apart from, obviously, the Countess and the Darkest Dungeon, complete, which is really, really good stuff. Let's uh, quickly check what we've got in the stagecoach. Anyone new coming up? Um, sadly not. It's kind of crazy how many new classes we have available. And none of them are coming through. It's 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 kind of insane that we're not getting any of them. I have so many new classes downloaded and none of them are, are appearing. But good stuff here nonetheless. And uh, we have so much money, we should probably buy at least one of these things that might be useful to us. Um That one's kinda good. Jester for the extra bleed. Uh Grave Robber. No, I don't think we need that. Plus 20 prop, minus 10. That 
that's kind of good. Yeah, I think I'll buy that. That could be good. We might use that from time to time. It's not exactly the best thing in the world, but could use it. Also, this as well. I think both of those are really, really good. Um, either way, yeah, we're going to end the episode there. A little bit of a short one once again, but I want to keep these boss base combat ones as just the boss themselves and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless and i'll see you guys in the next one